Hey everyone, um, so I am sitting in the parking lot. Uh, it's finally, the day has come that I finally get to get my hair cut. Um, I've never been nervous to get my hair done, but I am nervous today because I have to wear my mask the whole time. Um, I have a lot of hair, so it usually takes a good hour and a half to two hours. So, um, just pray for me that I don't pass out <laughs> while I'm getting my hair done. Um, so I am sitting here. They have some rolls, which is fine. I have to wait in my car until someone comes out to get me. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to go in and see what we can do. So I'll just get a look at the before. And um, I don't know what. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet. I just know I need something different. I think I'm going to go lighter. Um, but we'll see. So that is what I'm doing right now. I just don't know why I'm nervous. I should be excited. Well, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous. So yeah. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I just thought I would just vlog this little journey. Um, it's weird because it's like new territory because it's been months and months since we've been able to get out. Um, actually, our salons opened yesterday on Memorial Day. And um, it's crazy because usually everything's closed on Memorial Day or in and or in Mondays too as far as haircutting. So, um, that's interesting. Um, our local barber had uh, people wait for five hours to get a haircut so you know everyone is actually desperate at this point so um, my son needs a haircut he looks like a caveman but I am not waiting five hours um, so I scheduled this appointment as soon as our governor announced that everything would be opening in the dates I went ahead and jumped on and got an appointment for today so we will see. Stay tuned. I will keep you posted on um, this. And um, yeah, so let's get this started. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just finished. Let me take my sunglasses off. I just finished with my um, appointment at the salon. So my appointment was at 12.15. It's 2.47. So it does take a while to do things but I made it through. Um, so I just kind of walk you through the process. When I um, first got here, um, I had to call and let her know that I'm here. And um, she came out and took my temperature. And then um, obviously from sitting in the car, my temperature was 101. So she had to check it and it kept going down. So I was fine. So I got, went in and um, I'm not, we're not allowed to touch the door and then there was like a seat I had to set in I had to answer a list of questions like have you had a fever been in contact with anyone sick um, and just you know the typical COVID questions and then um, I went and sat down and um, she did my hair you know she started putting the stuff on my hair as usual as you can see I went blonde I hope everybody likes um, and so uh, midway through I started getting you know start feeling suffocated in the um in the mass so and my blood sugar started to drop because I really haven't had anything to eat today so um I let her get through it takes a long time guys to do this hair so to get all of the foils on my hair it took a long time so midway through um I had to step outside and have a some type of sugar so I keep snacks in my purse but um so I'm not allowed to touch the door so she opened the door and I came outside and had my snack like super quick and then went inside and sat under the dryer for uh, 20 minutes 20 25 minutes and um then like so when you get up from a chair she has to clean it and then I got up from that chair she had to clean it and then I went over and had my hair rinsed and shampooed and then she had to clean that and then you know so on and so forth but um, overall I think that it's a tedious process but it is worth it because it has been months since I've had my hair done and um, I went blonde I'm going to go blonder 
more blonde, blonder. Um, but right now, because of the color of my hair, I, I did like a um, double tone color in the past. Uh, I had to start out slow. So I, I have a couple of brass spots, which I expect it, but that's where my Lange Purple Shampoo is going to come in and fix that right up. But I'm super pleased with the out the outcome. I just had a little bit trimmed off of the ends. I just did a dry trim because I'm trying to let my hair grow out. So I just kind of wanted to share the process with you guys of what it's like right now during the COVID-19 pandemic getting your hair uh, cut, colored, going to a salon. Um, but I am super grateful that I was able to do so and um, my hair is super happy as well. So um, I will talk to you guys later. I am going to head home now and um, I will be uh, getting back on soon. I hope everyone's still having a great day and um, oh yeah, it rained here. So, uh, you know, I'm weather, I'm the weather guy here. So um, have a great day and I will be back guys. of mine you see there are no trees inside of me in this desert I can look at you with love